Hello ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, my name is Brad, this is my channel Animate Orange where I build a lot of 3D metal models and today on the table I have the CH-47 Chinhook. Another aircraft, another helicopter, a rather massive looking helicopter as it seems. Let's open this up, see how complicated it's going to be and put it together. The CH-47 Chinhook. Tap it all down so we don't rip the instructions. What do we have? Ooh, yellow. We have two sheets, two metal sheets with the parts on it. No surprise. And the yellow instructions, very much an older style. Open. Front and back. Starting on the front, fold it in half and focus on the top half of the page. We start off with the usual Metal Earth 3D laser cut model with the QR code, line drawing of the model and one of the sheets. The key or legend, the blue circle, when you see that in the assembly flowchart, is telling you to insert a tab and fold it over 90 degrees. In the green triangle, we see one over here. When you see that in the assembly flowchart, it says to insert a tab into its slot and twist it 90 degrees. And if you pull and twist, or pull and screw, it does tend to make a better connection. And over here we have one of the parts with the sample of the insertion tabs, insertion holes and fold lines and what they are. A little note that neither of those pliers are helpful for assembly. We have the two sheets at the bottom. I'm just going to grab one. I've got this sheet which matches this right here. And you can see that all the parts are drawn out and labeled and numbered so you know what part is what number. So that when you're over here in the assembly flowchart and you see part one, you can find it over here, cut it out, and shape it. And then moving down, we've got part two, shape that, add it on, and just go down the page, follow the arrows in the assembly instructions. Once you get to the middle, you go down to this quarter, pick up with four, five, and six, and then over to this side, follow down, follow the arrows. Once you get to the bottom, flip to the back, pick up at the top, just continuing to follow the same pattern, quarter by quarter, line by line, then down to the bottom, you're almost done, once you get over to this, put in the propellers, or blades, or I'm not sure what they're called, at least I can't think of it right now, get down to the bottom, you are finished with your model. Let's take a moment to talk about the tools that I use. This is my standard set that I use in most every build. I have long needle nose pliers and flat nose pliers useful for a variety of different things. I have flush clippers that I use to cut the parts off the trees. It makes it quick and easy. And then I have some precision tweezers, one with a very pointed end, one that's had the pointed end ground down slightly, and one with a flat sort of curved end great for getting into curved areas. And then I have a standard set of tweezers with an angled tip. These come in one of the Iconics models and I love them and use them a lot. When it comes to shaping rounded parts, there are many options. I used dowel rods for a long time. I sharpened the ends of two of them with a pencil sharpener. These two are great for making cone shapes. Another option is a cheap drill bit set. The set has quite a few different sizes to choose from. Another option is a set of step mandrels. We peeked at the instructions, we've got our metal sheets, talked a little about tools, got some basics to get us started, let's put this together. There are a number of edges to roll in this build.
Shaping the cockpit windows is a bit vague and maybe not all that well designed. Looking back, I should have tried a smaller dowel rod to shape this part rather than finish it off with pliers. If it was shorter, pliers might have worked okay, but not so much this way. Silly me, I neglected to fold over the other tabs before beginning to attach this part. I had trouble with the rear side tab on both sides not wanting to sink in enough to be twisted. I used a smaller dowel rod for this side and it worked out perfectly. Just like the other side, that rear tab did not want to sink in enough to twist. Luckily, the other tabs are enough to hold things together.
Part 11 fits two different ways. One way allows the rivet lines to line up. I find a sharpened dowel rod useful for making cone and disc shapes. I didn't worry too much about the alignment of the comb parts on these assemblies, at least not until after they are connected to the rest of the craft. Then I will try to line them up a little better. I didn't bend the little triangular-ish flaps at the front of the cockpit all the way down just yet. I noticed there were slots right there at the bend and I thought I would secure the part that attaches there and twist those tabs before bending those little flaps over. I started with the inner tabs when seating the seats. The outer tab is easier to get to and manipulate if the need be.
I bent the front windows back up to give me enough room to attach and secure the tabs on the cockpit area. I got lucky when assembling the first landing gear and wheel. The wheel didn't want to lean out of shape when I bent over the tabs like the following wheels tried to do. I had to be careful bending over those tabs so as to not warp the whole wheel. Every now and then something doesn't clip off cleanly and I have to kind of snip it and clean it up a little to allow the part to fit and sit properly.
this back piece was quite a squeeze. Getting the blades on might be a small challenge if the pieces you connect to keep turning like mine tried to do. The CH-47 Chinook, a beast of a helicopter. Check that guy out, I think it's huge. Very, very big. And a fun model, more so than I thought. I, I really enjoyed building this thing. I gotta make a little bit of correction to some of these cockpit areas. That cockpit area is kinda screwy and hard to quite make out what to do. This build was a little bit longer. It took two hours to put together. There's a lot of large parts, so it gets off to a quick start, but it's just a matter of, of you know shaping the cockpit area, shaping the wing or the, the windows of that, getting the blade little rotator part put together. It just kind of took some time just to get everything lined up and shaped and put together. In the end, it's it's a rather large model, not too hard to put together. It's really neat. Kind of wish the cockpit window area looked a little bit better, but it's really not that bad. Not frustrating to put together at all. And the blades do turn, although a bit clumsily sometimes. Very pleased, very pleased with this. Wasn't as hard as I thought. I'll leave it at that. If you have any questions or comments, as always, leave them down below. If you like these videos, you want to support and keep them coming, check out my Patreon. There's a link in the description down below and at the end of this video. Thank you for watching and keep on keeping on.